it's very important that we all learn how to maintain our body after a viral infection like COVID or RSV or the flu. How many times have you had the flu? Right? These are things we have been living with, and many people have had the flu, myself included, probably three or four times throughout my life. But no one has told us that when we get a viral infection that we fill with cellular waste because the virus takes over the cells and replicates and replicates. Also, the immune response sets out a lot of cytokines, which are from your immune cells, which makes a lot of cellular waste. So we aren't seeing how viral infections like COVID, RSV, the flu, even the common cold that some children have over and over and over again can fill us with cellular waste and affect how we feel physically and affect how we feel mentally. But it's really all about cellular waste. And COVID-19, a lot of research has come out with that the last few years, showing that when you have COVID, you'll have more tinnitus, you'll have more neuropathy, more Parkinson's, more brain fog, more anxiety, more uh, seizures, more strokes, more depression. So if we understand that COVID really creates cellular waste in our body in, in massive amounts, and that's what's stopping our lymphatic system, then how do you prevent COVID from really affecting you where you get long COVID? You maintain your lymphatic system to reduce the buildup of inflammation and cellular waste from the virus. But we all have inflammation. So if we can have an improved lymphatic system by maintaining it and being more aware of the system that's the body's sewage treatment system, then we can have a better chance of, again, not getting uh, viruses. But if you have long COVID, they know it's about cellular waste building in your body long after the virus is gone. Remnants remain that just keep on inflaming the, the nasal area, the brain or the body. And it's, those, it's that inflammation that is creating that has to be uh, dealt with. And how we deal with it is with the lymphatic system. And it's something that you need to understand to do yourself. You need to know how to change your diet. You need to know how to take a few basic supplements, how to do exercises that open up the upper body to improve lymph flow because your major lymph vessels are right here. And most of us are so tight in our shoulders that we're limiting flow out of our body and our brain. We're creating our own problems a lot of the times. So if you want to help prevent COVID and get over long COVID, and I've dealt with this a lot with people, they feel a a difference very quickly within a, a week they're feeling better and then over a few weeks they start getting back to where they can do exercise again and they get their life back so it's a process of reducing inflammation by activating the lymphatic system body sewage treatment system uh, i hope this makes sense but it's whether you want to help long covid or you want to help prevent it's really about getting your lymphatic system uh, moving and flowing so it can perform detoxification in your body uh, have a great day